everybody and welcome today's video I thought we'd do some unboxings every year I've got some things that I picked up from boxy pop-up yes I know another order then there was some really good sales and deals going on we've got some new makeup release that I picked up as well as there are some PR products in here as well that I wanted to show you guys and talk to you guys about so anyways before we jump into the video if you are new here hi hello and welcome my name is Ron and over here we always embrace the hot mess because it is a judgment-free drama-free stress-free zone where we sit back relax and have a good old time so hopefully this is a channel for you you'll stick around subscribe turn on your notification bell I upload all the time over here Monday through Friday at 12 15 Eastern time and then on the weekends if I upload it's always at 9 p.m. Eastern time let's go ahead and jump on in <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. First of all, let's talk about this cutesy little top that I did pick up from Rosie Days, which is Casey Holmes Boutique. This is super cute. It did come with shorts. I have my pajama bottoms on because I'm so professional over here, but it's super cute and definitely recommend it. I'm super into that tie dye. So I will have everything listed and linked down below for you guys. As we know, <laughs> BoxyCharm had Boxy pop up for August. They always have add-ons every single month, but Boxy pop up is when you get up to 80% off of things. And it's a whole variety of stuff. So I did pick up some things from Boxy pop up I wanted to talk to you guys about. I have been eyeballing these specifically at Sephora and as well as I do shop at Sol de Janeiro's website as well. And and I just could not pull the trigger on these. They were like close to I think 30 bucks a piece, but they had them for 12 bucks during Boxy Pop Up. And I wanted to show these to you guys. These are amazing, okay? Because not only do they give you shimmer, glitter, sparkle, and all things that make me happy, but they smell delicious and divine. The reason I want to tell you guys about them is because uh, if they are part of the boxy add-ons, which I would definitely recommend adding these to your cart. Like I said, they're $12 and it smells like the bum bum cream that everybody loves. Like they smell delicious. I don't know if you guys can see the, like, do you see the pretty radiance and shimmer? It's like a body oil, but I don't ignore that. I'm a klutz, but it's, Oh, it's just so comfortable and it smells so nice. It's not crazy sticky or anything like that. I do take whatever's extra and just put it through my hair, but it's not, it doesn't dry all the way completely down, but it's not insanely sticky if that makes sense. And it's so pretty. It is just so pretty. I got it in this, what, what, what is this one called? Carnival Queen and then this one is Master Flash. I've used both of them and they both smell the same. So if you love that bum bum boom boom scent, you're going to like these. And like I said, 12 bucks. Um, I did also pick up the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. You guys had told me that these are amazing. They were $12. They were part of the boxy pop-up. They were also in the September premium boxes as well as a choice uh the tantalize was sent to me which i have actually i'm not going to open this one i've got one already open that would be silly to open another one but the tantalize was sent over to me from boxy charm and this is really pretty uh for me i can't use it as a highlight i can only use it as like to put on prior to my makeup you guys see or i mix it in my foundations and it just gives you this really pretty radiant glow from within type of look this doesn't have like the sparkles in it like the these do this has more of like a radiance think like charlotte tilbury's hollywood flawless filter it has that in there and like i said this was part of the premium box but you could also jump over to boxy pop-up and get these for 12 dollars. so i went ahead and i didn't know i was going to be receiving this one from boxy charm so i had picked up the tantalize and the do you shade as well which was the lighter one which i've not even played with this one yet let's Ooh, 
this is really pretty this is one where I think I could definitely highlight my skin with it that is so pretty let's, let's add a little oh yeah see this works better definitely better uh, for my skin the other one I can just mix in and kind of deepen and darken everything up now this completely dries down there's not a scent to it or anything but like I said if this is available in the add-ons you guys were the ones that recommended me pick this up so I did I listen I'm a good listener I am a good listener again this was part of the box pop-up it was really inexpensive I've not tried it before it's mine tan body skin natural glow tanning water with marine botanical complex so I thought I would pick it up I I don't I think it was like maybe 12 bucks or something during pop-up so I went ahead I haven't tried it out just yet it's the one hour express self tan water which I really like the um I have it on today I think it's by St. Tropez it's the vitamin water and you'll see me probably darken up as I go and I was good I did my arm so everything will darken up as the video continues but I've been really liking just the clear water and then like I, I was talking about it in my trash video which will probably not be up yet but I take a fluffy brush and you know work the sunless tan in and it seems to work really well so i'm excited to try this stuff out as well um i think that was the rest of the stuff from boxy pop-up i also did i tell you guys i picked up the milk um this was the kush lip balm which this is in the shade nug and it's really really comfortable i think these were like six dollars so that's definitely something to consider i know that i picked up more but I don't want to embarrass myself, so I'm not going to show you guys. Okay, let's move on. This is something that is a new makeup release. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I did go ahead and pick this up because I love Natasha Denona formula. You guys know that. And I just thought this palette was so pretty. It's a nice mix of like sultry palette as well as... I don't know I felt like her her little mini glam palette as well it's just like all into one and I feel like if you I'm not a makeup artist but I feel like if you are these would be very pretty for weddings you know like I just felt like this would be not that I do that but I don't know that and the fact that I just I love her formula so let me know if you guys want to see a video on this if not I will just do a video over on Instagram using this palette but I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and so I had to pick it up also Huda Beauty had like a half off of her complexion stuff so I did pick up some of her foundations I did also get her powders as well as her concealers and a lot of you guys have been asking me like what did I think of the concealer here's what I'll tell you guys for me personally it seems to be working very very well I have it on today I did pick up this shade cookie dough 14 n and I feel like it's kind of light on me but I make it work I, I don't know as far as the foundation it's the Trez Lynch's Lynch's 320g that's what I have on today again I have my sunless tanner on so it works when I don't have my sunless tanner on I picked up the shade 300n which is a latte it is a little light for me the 300n um so I definitely have to bronze myself up when I don't have a sunless tanner on and try and use this but I like the coverage of it I like the fact that it is it's definitely a full coverage but it doesn't have like that matte like suck the life out of your skin type of feel neither does the concealer and I've been really happy with it the one thing I will tell you guys is I also picked up the powders I got the shade cupcake which I dust underneath my eyes do not bake I cannot bake with this stuff at all it is a little too drying on my skin so what i do is i will dust just like with my little juno and co brush and i will dust a little bit of cupcake underneath my eyes just to set my concealer and it's perfect now if i try and go in with a sponge and you know press it in it's too much and it like sucks the moisture out of my skin and i can't handle it same with the, i go in with banana bread for the rest of my face i will just take my bk beauty this is the 105 brush and i pounce it and push it into my skin and it's perfect i will take just a little bit 
just a little bit with a damp Gino and Co sponge and I will just like kind of hit my t-zone and then it's fine but if I try and set my entire face with a sponge with this powder it's definitely too drying so but as far as the concealer goes it hasn't been too drying underneath my eyes it's been very comfortable I do use like eye creams underneath my my um concealer on top of using my Tatcha so I definitely make sure to really hydrate underneath my eyes but for me it's been very comfortable and I like it and like I said it was all like half off so I loved it even more um now this was actually sent over to me from beauty for real and you guys know that I had picked up their uh, lip bundle kit that Jari G had done with them and it's really really pretty it was a lip liner and then their lipstick and it was gorgeous and they were actually kind enough to send over a bunch of their eye, the eye uh, pencils and stuff and I'm really excited about these I want to take pictures and put it over on Instagram as well but some of these we saw in our ipsy bags like specifically Haley had received them in ipsy they also sent over I think this is actually mascara as well so thank you beauty for real for sending this over I was really excited it's got their they have their eye pencils in here they have these which like I said these were in the ips some people's ipsies Haley got them and they are what are they actually called the beauty for real shadow stick so I definitely want to create some sort of look because I feel like they'll be super easy and it's like one of those things where you could just kind of put them on your lids and then like buff them out and then boom you've got a whole eye look so thank you beauty for real for sending these over i'm so excited to try everything out um blink mascara or blink actually sent over their to be mascara which i do have on today and i actually have on the spanglish palette which a video will be going up soon on how i created this look and in that video i do use the blink black primer that was in a boxy charm and then their tubi mascara and i have to say i've had this on for a few hours now there's no flaking there's no like transferring or anything like that the one thing i really like about their tubi mascara is it doesn't give me the spider lashes they look very natural. They look like my lashes, but better. And I, I'm really happy with this. And I guess, I don't know if the formula is new or if it's the packaging that's new, but either way, I do like the tubing mascara. Okay, so this was sent over by Juno & Co. I do have a coupon code with them. I'll pop it up on the screen. This is a Juno & Co. SpongeBob set. Isn't that cute? I don't know if my camera can focus because of the packaging but you have two of their their sponges it looks like they're kind of like the fuzzy sponges um so you got patrick and spongebob then you've got little ones for underneath the eye and then this is their soap and i really really like their soap it is it washes everything clean perfectly i use it on my brushes i've used it on my sponges that aren't their brand and it works really well um next this was actually sent over to me from glam for, uh, with suzanne if you guys aren't following her you definitely should check her out they are actually a bunch of lashes she actually collabed with lash scoop and sent over a bunch of these lashes which her lashes always look so beautiful so your girl's gonna jump outside her comfort zone and use some of these lashes look how pretty they are aren't they so pretty she does the most creative beautiful eye looks so I definitely want to try out some of these lashes. I mean, I know I don't wear them all the time, but I think that, you know, the more I've been getting outside my comfort zone, the more I'm like, okay, next step would be adding some fun lashes. So anyways, thank you, Suzanne, for reaching out and sending these over. I greatly appreciate it. And congratulations on your collab with a lash scoop. These are just beautiful beautiful lashes and i can't wait to try them out okay so moving on i got a whole blush brush collection from absolute new york you guys i had to show these brushes because all i could think about was back when i used to be a flight attendant how you only can you know you you only have a limited amount of space that you can put in your suitcase for a three or four day overnight and of course me being the makeup lover that i am i needed to figure out ways to get like the most for my space because 
I like to bring my makeup no matter where I went. Check these brushes out. These are like four in one brushes. So you have your foundation brush and then you have like two eye brushes in there. Can you guys see that? Are these not awesome? Like all I could think about was when I opened this PR package, I thought, oh my gosh, these are perfect. If you travel for a living, these would be the perfect brushes. Like the, and like how pretty is this brush? You guys see the glitter at the bottom of that brush? So thank you Absolute New York for sending over these brushes. I am just so excited. Look at that. Aren't those beautiful? But they are like the perfect travel friendly kind of brushes where you get like the most out of the space. This is a 4-in-1 eye detailing and a lip brush. Wonder Beauty actually sent a package over and you guys know I love Wonder Beauty products as well. We've got the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil which you guys know I love that. It's actually it's actually sitting over here. I love this stuff. They, they sent over the Dive In Moisturizing Cream. The mist. The mist is absolutely amazing. It's an essence and toner. I love that stuff. And this is, what is this one? Ooh, it's a lip treatment oil. So thank you Wonder Beauty for sending this over. They keep me stocked with all of their goodies. I absolutely love. And they are always having a coupon over on their website. So definitely make sure to check that out. I have one more box and this is um, my purchase that I purchased Bath & Body. You guys know when they have sales, I stock up. So I did pick up some of their candles and you guys know I always keep a candle most of the time lit behind me and then I like to have one like in my kitchen, in the bathrooms and they had their three wood candles on sale. Some of them I picked up, yes this one, I picked up their wallflowers. Haley got me on their wallflowers. They're just delicious. And the strawberry pound cake wallflower smells so yummy in this candle. Oh my gosh. Strawberry pound cake candle. I love it. I love booty smelling candles. Like granted this smells like a flower up here. It smells nice and it smells clean but my wallflowers are always like a yummy delicious kind of food wallflower and I have this upstairs and I love it. I love it so much. So I picked up a couple of those. Ooh, how pretty is this jar? This is so pretty for the fall. <gasps> this is pumpkin cookie dough. Oh, that smells good. I think the strawberry pound cake is definitely my favorite out of the two, but I like the glass is actually cute over here too. I forgot to show you guys. Look how cute that is. Very pretty. Ooh. Mm. That smells good. That smells like sh almost like a sugar cookie dough. Okay, I don't want to run out of time. Hold on, my battery will go. Oh, I got another of the strawberry pound cake. Like I said, they were having a sale. And then I found like a $10 off coupon as well. So I was like, mm-hmm, we're going to do this. Okay, this scent is, oh, I think this is another pumpkin. Ooh, this is pumpkin snickerdoodle. And again, it's the cute fall packaging. Oh, snap. I hope I got more than one of these. This smells so good. I love a candle that I want to eat. Like if I could eat it, that's a good candle, you know? Did I get another strawberry pound? I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you see which one is. I love that. I love the strawberry pound cake, but dang, that pumpkin snickerdoodle, that smells so good. What is this one? Oh, this is warm apple pie. So this is what it looks like. I mean, these are just so pretty. Um, that smells good, but it's, it's no pumpkin snickerdoodle. I'll tell you that. I got two more guys. Ooh, this is one I know I like. Blueberry maple pancakes. That smells good. Still not my fave, but it smells good. I was trying to change it up a little. Then I have one more. Yes, I did. I got two snickerdoodles. The pumpkin, I wish I had smell-o-vision. The pumpkin snickerdoodle. That smells good. It's light, but still delicious. 
I like that. Okay. All right, guys. That is everything from PR to some of my purchases. Hopefully, especially when it comes to the candles, I know everybody to each their own and as far as the scent that they enjoy goes, but I, I really love this one. Like, it's food. It's strawberries. It's like a... I don't even know. It's just, it's really good. But anyways, guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you to everybody that did send me PR. I want to start doing these unboxings, especially so we can learn about other brands out there as well. So thank you as well to you guys, because if it wasn't for you guys, brands would not be sending me anything to show you all. So thank you guys very, very much. And let me know some of your favorite Bath and Body Work candles that I need to check out as well. So anyway, friends don't forget to follow me over on tiktok instagram and hopefully you decide to stick around subscribe turn on your notification bell and until next time as always i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from kentucky Mwah! bye